Here we'll take a further look at the division of fractions. So we can see in this example we 4 and 2 over 7 divided by 1 and 6 over 11. So to start with we must convert these mixed fractions into single fractions. So 4 and 2 over 7 that becomes 30 over 7. So 4 is the same as 28 over 7 because 4 7s are 28 so 4 is the same as 28 over 7 plus 2 over 7 gives 30 over 7. That's divided by 1 and 6 over 11 so 1 is the same as 11 over 11 so it's 11 over 11 plus 6 over 11 which gives us 17 over 11. So when dividing we invert the fraction on the right and multiply. So 17 over 11 becomes 11 over 17. So next we multiply top by top, top. 30 by 11 is equal to 330. 7 by 17 is equal to 119. So our final answer here is 330 over 119 or if you want to write it as a mixed fraction that's 2 and 92 over 119. The reason is 119 goes into 330 twice, remainder 92. Next we have 5 and a third divided by 3 and 3 eighths. So again, when you've mixed fractions and you're multiplying or dividing, convert them into single fractions. So 5 and a third, 5 is the same as 15 over 3. 15 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is 16 over 3. That's divided by 3 and 3 eighths. So 3 is the same as 24 over 8. 24 over 8 plus 3 over 8 is 27 over 8. So we know when we're dividing by fractions, we invert the fraction on the right and multiply. So it's 16 over 3 multiplied by 8 over 27. So we multiply top by top. 8 by 16 is equal to 128. 3 by 27 is equal to 81. So our answer is 128 over 81. There's no number that will divide evenly into 128 and 81, so we can't break it down any further. But if you want to write it as a mixed fraction, it's 1 and 47 over 81. The reason is, 81 into 128 goes once, remainder 47. So just to recap, if you ever come across mixed fractions and you're dividing or multiplying, just convert them into single fractions and then complete your division or multiplication. So when you're dividing by fractions, you invert the fraction on the right, so that means you turn it upside down, and multiply. So here 27 over 8 became 8 over 27 and we multiplied. When multiplying fractions, it's the top number of the numerator by the top number of the numerator. It's bottom number multiplied by the bottom number. When you figure out your answer, just inspect it to make sure it's in its lowest possible form.